with Sabrina until 12 hours before I met her friends. She didn't want kids though, did she? Well, I didn't know that until I had a date. <laughs> Sean, your date was last minute. Russ said, Sabrina, right? date was last minute. Yeah, her date was last minute. Who would have had a date? Bro, you are killing me. You had a connection with it. No, I'm saying not. It was. Like, it's just about how they made you look, which is oh, easy. God. I actually think, like God's honest truth, had I been there in the beginning, I could have made connections with some of the women who were gone. Okay. Who did you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Man. To see her. Mm -hmm. He had to see his chance. He didn't do the nothing to see her. Sean, what happened to see her? That was oh, well, great <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I saw her in Ghana, so I don't know how you didn't see her, bro. Oh, yeah, what happened? Yeah, you can't miss that. <laughs> no, what happened with Tasia was that Sabrina happened before my elimination date with Tasia. When you have something that you can't trust, like that setup, that process, the production, I don't trust the process anymore. So I'm I'm gonna do like the old folks do at church. I'm gonna keep still and let God fight my battle because I don't know what these niggas are setting me up for. If I can't trust it anymore, I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna be like this mm. because that was stone cold stupid. And I didn't get up here to be stupid. I'd rather get eliminated. But when did you message? Did you message to see her after the show? Yeah, good question. Because we have had relationships on the show. We don't had a great track record. But after it's, the show, Sean, did you so. message her? No, after the show, I decided to detach myself from the show because the speed and the when you're in the show, I think people talk about the psychology that's necessary, the exit meeting, the needing of the exit psychology after you've done the show. I don't want to keep relitigating the show. If I relitigate any of my castmates, I want it to be on a fresh plane where it's not like, oh, there's cameras still rolling and we still got to do this. Yeah, we gotta do that. Because when you're on the show, everybody who knows the show, your life is not your own and you think you got to do something. Okay, but but you no, could have you could have but okay wait. So like, I'm, oh, wait. I'm, I'm with you, Sean. I'm with you, Sean. Listen, but you're you're kind of intellectualizing the actual situation. Right. After the after you're off, you yeah. can message. You could have you could have messaged to see her, you could have got to know her, you could have taken her on dates, there'd have been no cameras there, and they would have seen you on reunion yes. and it would you'd have been sitting next to her and they'd been like, Oh, what happened? You two have been chatting off the cameras. Well, so first they why not after they set up who you sit next to on camera. Okay, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? After why didn't you message her then? Because what it sounded well, like I, well, well, is excuses. I, I'll, I'll be real with you. I, I if you want Gal, you want Gal, you can go off the game. I was messaging gal. about I want it all. I was messaging no, but, more about, but I was also after the fact, I also messaged like maybe we should catch up and get a drink. But then people got sick, stuff was going on. We didn't have that. But what I did do on purpose was not just roll up my sleeves and dive back into the ready to love pool. And I used those two months to be Sean again. I wasn't gonna like recircle the old stuff that's on your TV. I just wasn't gonna do it. Sean, I love you. I love you, but let me tell you something. J no, Ron no, Tyro no. I'm not buying that, and I'm not gonna accept that. That is not the truth, bro. And quite if frankly, you, re I didn't if you really to wanted it after Halloween, if you really wanted it, you would have gone for it. Come on, Sean. Like, if you I, wanted I never it, felt like I was part of the, the cast because I was dropped into the middle. You don't Everyone need to be part of the cast. I'm talking about to see her. Each other in the beginning. I'm talking about to see her because what you said each time I say ask you, you keep giving an intellectual reason as to why it doesn't happen. Well, but if you angry. want it, I'm not a but if you, I know, rah, you're, you're, <laughs> leave him alone, leave him alone. If you wanted it, bro, you would have gone after it. I didn't know if I wanted it. Hey, that's, 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 that's it. That's it. I don't, I don't that's know it. if I wanted it. it. And I don't know if I wanted it just because I was on the show. Everything I was doing on the show was very preliminary. It wasn't like I must have this person, I must have this person. I was on the show for a week and a half. Exactly. Sure. So, I didn't, so that, mean, that means you boxing yourself so what out. What that bro. means is like, why should I just keep trying to pursue something when there's other stuff outside of like the trains I rode? There were women there. The yeah. other groups, uh, it's not, it ain't a problem with meeting women. I'm like, should I try to force something with to see it because she was on my list? I was just sour about No, it's not a force, John. That's what I'm saying is like this. Oh, okay, saying, if they rob if production and the show robbed you of an image situation, it's TV, man. It's reality TV. You'll get over that. Now, if they robbed you of love, I got a problem with that. Well, if they robbed reason. you of a connection, I got a problem with that. That's fair, Ron, but what I'm saying is this this also goes here. And I'm always very honest about this. As a man, if you really want it, 
you dive and go for it immediately. I, I guess my actions speak words. Maybe I don't really want it. No slight to Tasia, but it's like, okay, was she there because I was trying to generate a list? Because I needed a list of women. I had no connections. Can I, I ask I you a question, John? Hmm? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Before the show, when was your last like real relationship? Uh, about a year before him. And like, what was that breakup like? Uh, she was older than me. And because we wanted different things and we kept kicking that can down the road, we finally broke up. Well, okay, I can understand that. I feel like, like in listening to you speak, right? It seems like you are holding yourself back from, you know, different situations and different women that may be a good look for you. Like there's, you know, let me finish. There's plenty of women on the, on your season, right? And just because they were associated with being on the same show as you, you didn't afford them a proper opportunity to get to know them better, to even see if this is something that you could have been interested in. Now, we know that our lives don't begin and end at the show. We know that th these slim pickings ain't all the pickings we got for us. We, we know that ain't it. And we know, like, as for my season, and I'm sure for you ladies and you men too, many of these people you never would have even looked at twice or given the opportunity to. And that's why we went through this process. We were put together as a dating experiment to see if these personalities can mesh and who can find love, who them to do something differently. And so I think for you, like what it sounds like to me is like, like in all of these reasons you've been saying, and I'm not devalidating you and I'm not trying to lessen your experience or anything like that. But I feel like you're given so many excuses to res restrain yourself from having what you truly deserve. Hey, I agree with it too. <laughs> I, I just, I mean, if one of these, because Sean, Sean, you, you, we I, are I deep. Sean, you're very, you're, you're mature, <laughs> you put together, articulate, smart as the T. I mean, I, I think you, all of that. And sometimes in love, you got to be a little dumb <laughs> and take some, you know what I mean, chances and things of that nature. Sometimes it's called stupid in love for a reason. And you got to let that, you know, happen sometimes. I mean, I know you, you are Sean, you put together, you say the right stuff. You are, a great speaker. I admire all those things about you, but openness and love means sometimes making, you know, I, making dumb mistakes and, and, and going for it and, and shooting yourself in the foot. I, I, again, I disagree because, like I said, the women that I actually talk to and connect with were are all were all gone by the time I got there, and I still connect with some of those women. You know, like Libba would tell you right now, if it weren't for like Lashawn wanting a child piece, we might be dating. You know, that means we've already explored that that stuff. So we've talked, we've talked offline. Just because I'm not billboarding things like some folks, it doesn't mean that those things are not happening or I haven't made those looks. What I will say, and I'll stand by it, when I left the show, I wanted to decompress from the showiness of it. I didn't want to feel like I was still on the show because there might be some people who still think that they are on the show. And for me to discern that, it takes time. I'm not eliminating folks, but I do want to know these women, and I've enjoyed knowing these women, my castmates, freshly for who they are. 